Video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress from the WordPress install files. So first go to wordpress.org and then go to the most recent version, it's usually down there, and over here you want to download the zip file. Just save it to your desktop or somewhere where it's handy. It's going to install it in a file called WP, so I can easily find it, which is on my desktop. Okay, so here it is. So I'm just going to unzip this. I installed a program called 7-Zip, and I can just extract the files. If you don't have 7-Zip, you can just use the one built into Windows, and all you have to do is extract all. I use 7-Zip because it's faster. Okay, so at that point, you have all your files extracted and there are the WordPress files there are two directories deep WordPress version number and then insert inside there you have WordPress and then you have your files in there okay so at this point we can upload all this to our server so of course you already have your domain name and your hosting so we're going to upload this where we want it to go to do this I'm using a program called FileZilla it's an FTP program it allows you to move files up and down from your server so this is my server side over on the right and my computer on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, public underscore HTML. This is where the files have to reside to be viewable on the internet for this particular server. Some hosts it's different. So find out where that needs to be from your hosting provider. I'm going to create a directory to put it in. I'm just going to call it WP test. Now I could upload it right into this directory and if I did that then I just have to key in my domain name and I'd go right to the WordPress install but I want it in a subdirectory so that's what I did. So let's go down to WP test. Okay so now we navigate on this side to where our WordPress files are. There they are. So just select all those just a control A selects them all. Right click and upload. Okay, so that uploads them to our server for us. We wait for that to finish. Now while this is going on, we can create a database. We need a database to control WordPress because everything's stored in a database. So let's go back here and let's go into our control panel. I'm showing you on control panel hosting. If you don't use control panel hosting, then you will have some sort of a, of a panel that you can create a database on. So I'm going to go in here. Okay, so now I'm going to go down to databases, MySQL databases. There are databases. And I'm going to go to MySQL databases. And then I'm going to create a new database for my WordPress install. So let's just call this WP test. go back. You need a user ID to get into your database. Okay, so we're going to create a new user. I'm going to call it the same thing WP test just for sake of ease. Then you need a password in here. I'm just going to use password. You should use something secure. Okay. You can also use a password generator here. It'll generate a very secure password for you. Just make sure you remember what it is. Okay, we'll create the user. Let's go back. All we need to do is attach the user and the database together. So we go down to where we said add user to the database and we find one called WP test. You notice there's characters in front of it. That is what differentiates it on a server as our particular database. Okay, so we'll add we want all privileges and make changes. 
Okay, at this point, our database is ready. Let's go see how our upload is going. We're almost done here. Okay, so everything's uploaded now. Now to start the install, all we have to do is type in the path to where our WordPress blog is going to be. So your domain name slash the folder that it's in, if it's in a folder. Otherwise, it's just your domain name. So I typed in my domain name slash WP test, and this came up telling us there's no config PHP file. It needs to create one. So I'll let it do that. Now you may get an error. Okay, so let's click let's go. Now this is where we put our database name in. So back to the control panel. I'm going to back to databases again. And let's go to PHP my admin this time. And this shows us all of our databases that we have available. Okay, so go down the left side here till we find the one. We have WP test here. Okay, and then our path to our database is right here. So it's the best I unearthed core WP test. So you need to make sure you get that whole thing in there. Okay, and then the username you set up. Okay, so in this case it was the same. You need to have the prefix on there as well. The password we chose, which happened to be password. Localhost, this is usually going to be right. To check it, you can go back to your PHP My Admin. And you'll see here server localhost. So that needs to be the same. And it is. Okay. Table prefix, you can leave that alone unless you're installing multiple instances of WordPress into one database. If you are, you should change this for each subsequent install. Let's click submit. Okay, now here's the error I was referring to earlier. It's trying to create a, a configuration file and it can't do it because our directory isn't writable. So to do that, let's go make the directory writable. Let's go back here and we need to make WP test writable. So let's go up one level, which is public HTML. Let's go to WP test. Let's right click on this and file attributes, make this 777. Just for a second. Now we'll go back. Let's just hit the back button here and then click submit again. Now click run the install and it will be able to create the config file for us. Okay, so site title here, admin username, a password here. And email address. allow my site to appear in search engines. Okay, you're going to want that unless you want this to be a private blog. Install WordPress. And that's it. Quick login. Admin. Password. And we're into the back end. So at that point, WordPress is all installed. Now at this point, you need to go back to FileZilla and you need to change these permissions back to where they were. They were 755 before. Put them back that way. That makes your site secure. Now, if you were installing in the public HTML directory, it's the same thing. This is your root directory. So you just key in your domain name and you're on your WordPress blog. What you would do is go back to the slash directory, which is right on the outside. Go find public HTML right click and file attributes notice it's 750 this time change to 777 proceed like i just showed you and then come back in here and set it back to 750. so that is how you can install a wordpress blog from the install files